This is my second political vlog. I just came back from voting. I walked down to my local polling place about two blocks away. Beautiful morning to go vote. And temperature in the low 60s, high 50s, something like that. Stood in line for about a half an hour. You know, not too bad. Chatted with some, you know, complete strangers. And as I stood in line, I saw people, um, a few people looked younger than I, a few people looked older than I. Um, some people looked blue collar, some people looked white collar. And I could not tell who for whom they were voting. I couldn't tell if they were Trump supporters, Clinton supporters, Johnson supporters, Stein supporters. There were 13 presidential candidates on my ballot. 13, yeah. You would never know that from the mainstream media, but, you know, 13. So I cast my vote. I got my little sticker. I accidentally grabbed two. This is a little close-up view of what they looked like. And, you know, I... As I stood in line, I said, you know, this is, this is pretty cool. Yeah, it took a half hour of my time, but that's what civic engagement is. You know, you, you stand in line with other people, you know, various walks of life and various backgrounds. You're all in the same neighborhood, so, you know, probably not the most homogeneous, um, heterogeneous group. But, um, you know, I didn't have my son this weekend, so he couldn't go in the voting booth with me. And, but I saw other people bring their children and, you know, to participate in the process. And this is, you know, this is civic engagement. This is our civic duty to go vote. And um, this is something that I, I hope we never go to all online or all mail-in ballots because, you know, you miss that kind of civic engagement where you go see, stand in line with other people and you can bring your kids into the polling booth. You know, it's that level of community and community engagement. Anyway, um, I'm going to spend this vlog talking about how nasty this campaign has been. And no, I do not think nasty is a compliment. Um, it has been the nastiest campaign that I can remember. It seems that the two major party candidates are more focused on why you should not vote for the other person than vote for them. Um, I talked a little bit about this in my first political vlog, um, that you know these differences of opinions we've had have been going on for decades. You know, We've had our views of abortion are pretty much the same as they were 30, 40 years ago. And they really haven't changed that much. The percentages have changed very little, but pro-choice, pro-life. We've had these disagreements for decades, but why is it now that anybody who disagrees with you on that issue is evil or stupid? We've had disagreements about immigration for decades. We've had disagreements on military spending for decades. We've had disagreements on, um, foreign policy for decades and trade for decades. So why has it been recently that if someone disagrees with you, they're stupid or they're evil, or if your dry cleaner supports Trump, you can't go there anymore, or if your pizza pizzeria owner supports Clinton, you want to boycott it, or you don't want your kids playing with the person with the Gary Johnson sign in the yard. Why is it all of a sudden we can't agree to disagree? Why? Why is it that we have to belittle and insult anybody who we disagree with? Um, I came, I do have a theory, and I mentioned this before in my other political vlog. I think it started in the 80s with Rush Limbaugh, who came up with this, you know, his talk show about insulting people he disagrees with, you know, the feminazis and stuff. And then the left jumped on that with their Air America. And then, you know, the Daily Show took it to, and the Colbert Report took it to incredible lengths. And now we have, you know, Samantha B, who I think doesn't respect anybody she disagrees with. Um, and of course, the right, it's not just the left, it's the right, you know, Sean Hannity and Bill O'Reilly and those guys, they seem to have no respect for people they disagree with as much as they make claim to. Um, it's a lot of shouting and insults, but, you know, we've lost the ability to agree to disagree. Do we really want to hang out with nobody but people who do agree with us on every issue? It seems, seems to me it's kind of boring, you know. We can't have civil debates. You know, we can't be civil to people who disagree with us on social and political issues is it really that bad i mean i i vote anti-war that is a, that's a deal breaker for me i could not bring myself to vote for someone who wants to keep us involved in afghanistan and iraq and syria but does that mean i think everybody who doesn't vote that way is evil or stupid no we just disagree and so i want to start a movement you know i realize i only have you know 11 subscribers or 23 subscribers or whatever, but let's start a movement. Hashtag agree to disagree. Hashtag respect differences. How about that? How about we share that and we realize, yes, we may be voting for a different coach, but we're all on the same team. We're all Americans. 
you know, I, I truly believe Democrat, Republican, Libertarian, Green, Socialist, whatever, that we all want what's best for our country. We just disagree on what is best for our country. And that's okay. It's okay to disagree. It's okay if your dry cleaner votes for someone you didn't vote for. You can still use that dry cleaner. You know, it's okay if the guy who owns the local pizza place supports a different candidate. You can still enjoy his pizza. He's not evil. He's not stupid. So turn off the hate TV. Turn off the hate radio. If you go to a website and you see a link that says, watch so-and-so eviscerate opposing party view on you know this issue, that's not a website you should be going to. Okay, that's, you know, watch so-and-so destroy, you know, the opposition on this issue. Those aren't real websites. Those aren't news sites. Those are opinion sites. Okay. And we should probably shut those off for a while and, you know, just get out and, you know, say hi to your neighbors and, you know, when you're be extra friendly when you're at the grocery store and you're lying to people or you let someone in front of you. Anyway, that's that's my political view for today. Um, I'm glad I voted. I hope um, everybody who is voting is an engaged voter and knows the issues and the candidates and isn't voting for silly reasons. But if they do, that's, you know, it's their choice. That's democracy. Great thing about democracy, anybody can vote for any reason. The worst thing about democracy, anybody can vote for any reason. Anyway, anyway, I hope you have a wonderful election day. Um, regardless whether or not your candidate wins, I hope you respect the outcome and respect people who disagree with you and move forward and engage others civilly and politely. And if you like these videos, you know, subscribe, uh, share, like. And if you don't like these videos, leave some constructive criticism down in the comments below. Anyway, have a great day and God bless America. Peace.